Kia ora Year 12 and 13. Here's the first video for our next topic, which is complex numbers. I'm going to follow the structure in delta, so I'm putting a delta chapter reference here on each video. Okay, so the first thing that's going to come in very useful is being able to simplify thirds. Now, we've done this quite a bit during the year, but we're going to do some concentrated practice on it in this topic. So the trick that we're trying to do here is we're looking inside the third for a perfect square. And we can rewrite root 50 as the square root of 2 times 25, which is then equal to 5 root 2. Okay, so here I am using the idea, and I'll talk about this more in class, that the square root of a product is equal to the product of the square roots. Okay, so here our final answer, simplify the third, means write it with as big a number outside here as you can, and a smaller number inside here. So in this one here, we're looking for a perfect square, and we see that that's equal to 2 times 9. The square root of 9 is 3, so it's 3 root 2. The third one, the square root of 720, now it's a bigger number, so it's a bit harder to see it. Um, it doesn't matter how many steps you take to see the patterns, so you might in this one see 2 times 360, and you're looking at that and you're still not quite seeing a perfect square. But if you look at this, you'll see 36 in there. So we could rewrite this as 36 times 20. So that will equal 6 root 20. Now we look at that and we're still not done because there is a perfect square hiding in root 20. And as usual, I've run out of space, so I'm just going to squish it over here. Okay, I hope there's no maths teachers watching. So, that root 20 is equal to 6 times the, third, uh, the square root of 4 times 5, which is equal to 12 root 5. Okay, now you could have got there much, much faster, but I just want you to see that you can take as many goes as you need writing this number as the product of two factors. Okay, there are a few more on the next page with some algebra. Okay, so here we look at the number. Let's take a look at that. So we've got 9 times 30 m cubed n. I can't do much with the m cubed n, but I've got 3 times 30 m cubed n. Right, now let's just take a look at the 30 and think about what its factors are. Is there anything I can do with that? Well, there's not really. I've got 30 is 2 15s, 3 times 10, or 5 times 6. So there's no simplifying to be done there. That's as far as that one's going to go. I'll just erase that. We don't need that. Okay, this next one has got some algebra in it. So what we're going to look to do is first take out the common factor, which is 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 1. Right, so the 2 is going to keep on sitting under there. But what I've got here is 2 times x minus 1 squared. So that gives me root 2 times x minus 1. And this last one shows us how we can simplify right down in a fraction. The top line is simplified as far as it goes. But in this bottom line, I've got 3 times 5 times 25. Hmm, I've got the running out of room problem again. Here we go. So that simplifies to give me, I've got perfect square in here, so I've got 2 root 5 over 3 times 5, 15 root 5. So I can divide numerator and denominator by root 5, and my final answer is 2 over 15. So you know what I'm going to say. Go and do lots of practice out of delta 28.2. Thanks for watching.